Hello everyone, I am Kamura and in this today video tutorial I am going to discuss you about rectangle command, polygon command and ellipse command. So for drawing rectangle you are required to enter spot code command RAC on your command panel and you, from here you can select rectangle or else you can go to your main toolbar ribbon and you can select rectangle from here and polygon is given in drop down arrow you can select polygon also and ellipse is also given here so for drawing rectangle i am going to enter shortcut command rec and i am going to hit rectangle so uh, before clicking rectangle it will ask let's say first corner point whether you want chamfer elevation fillet thickness or width so i will discuss this in few minutes first i am going to click anywhere and after clicking it will ask SSI other corner point area dimension and rotation so if you know the area of your rectangle they can you can choose first capital letter of area that is a and if you know the dimension that, that is length and width is we are going to select dimension and first capital letter of dimension is D so you have to enter D and if you want to rotate your rectangle you are going to enter uh, R for rotation so I am going to hit area and uh, I am going to select area or you can select from here also or you can hit first capital letter and enter A so now it will ask enter area of rectangle in so uh, suppose you are working feet and mm, whatever units you are going to uh, you are working so you have to enter area in that unit so suppose i am going to hit uh, 3000 area and my area is suppose 3000 i am going to hit enter now it will ask calculate rectangle dimension based on length or width and by default it is giving length so if you know the length the uh, rectangle command it will automatically calculate width if you know width then it will automatically calculate length based on of, of area that is 3000 so i am going to take default l length either you can select from here length and now it is asking enter rectangle length so uh, suppose my area is 3000 and my uh, length is 200 so i'm going to hit enter rectangle length 200 enter and now based on my area it has calculated the length and width so i'm going to enter dli in linear to check the length and it's coming exactly 200 the total area was 3000 so i have to confirm by knowing the width and it is 15 so 15 into 200 that is 3000 so area is 3000 so this is all based on area and again i am going to select rectangle command and i am going to select hit anywhere in viewport and now i am going to enter d dimension and now it's asking a specify length of rectangle so i am going to uh, specify length of rectangle any length i'm going to hit 350 and now it's asking a specify width for rectangle that i am going to hit 200 and enter so based on my uh, uh, dimensions of length and width rectangle is created and this is by method of dimension and this is by method of area i am going to rotate i am going to hit a rectangle again and i am going to click anywhere and i am going to uh, hit rotation and I am going to rotate it at any 
angle if you want i am going to rotate it at 45 degree so after that entering angle you can make a rectangle or also you can make rectangle by letting this dimensions or area also or you can draw free hand also so this is the rectangle at an angle of 45 degree so this is the method of drawing rectangle by area dimension and rotation and now we will go to again rectangle i am going to select rectangle and now it is asking chamfer chamfer elevation get thickness or width if you want to chamfer you have to select chamfer and now it is asking specify first chamfer distance for rectangle i am going to uh, make it uh, 28 and second chamfer distance I am going to hit 56 and now specify first corner point I am going to make and now it is getting chamfer you have to make draw it large but before that we have to uh, uh, bring the rotation to 0 degree so I am going to hit rectangle and I am going to click anywhere and I am going to hit rotation or and I am making it 0 entering 0 so now the rectangle is at 0 degree angle so now you can see this is chamfered rectangle is chamfered at the value which I have put. So, this is the method of how to do chamfering. So, now again I am going to hit rectangle and I am going to now select fillet. So, I am going to select fillet and now I am going to give fillet radius. So, I suppose I am going to enter 60. And now it says me first corner point. And then it will ask other corner point. And now you are clearly saying that it has been filled. That is smooth. And this was chamfered. So it is not smooth. Again, I am going to hit enter rectangle. And after that, I am going to select this now. Width first. I will tell you about thickness. I am going to select width. And now it is asking specify line width for a rectangle. So I am going to uh, give some line width. So I am hitting uh, 60. And I am going to draw angle. Now you are saying that this rectangle has got some width. But if you want to remove fillet. So, we have to again go back to rectangle and select this fillet and you have to give the value, radius value 0. So, your rectangle will be at 90 degrees and before that it was fillet. So, it was taking earlier value of fillet. And so same thing you have to do in angle also. You have to bring it 0 degree. So, rectangle will be not chamfered or fillet. So now again if you want to draw inner rectangle but it is coming at some width so you have to first go to your width and you have to make it 0 so you can draw inner rectangles so thin line rectangle only when you will bring the value to 0 width and you will bring value of fillet also to 0 and chamfered value also to zero so after that we are going to uh, again rectangle and now we are going to select this thickness so that means in orthographic uh, view if i am going to draw rectangle with uh, some thickness yes, i am going to uh, select rectangle and I am going to give thickness value of 600 and now I am going to draw rectangle 
and if you go to your this top two, uh, I'm going to isometric. So now you are seeing the difference. This is the thickness. These all rectangles they don't have thickness, but I have this, this rectangle has I have been given thickness. So in isometric we you can see thickness in this rectangle. So you can use thickness if you want to draw in isometric. Else you can use width if you want to draw give some thickness in top view. And again I am going to hit enter rectangle and this is fillet and elevation is to give elevation view that is not that much of concern. So these are all important you can use them. Now I will discuss about polygon command. So polygon command is uh, given in uh, this drop down arrow of rectangle in main toolbar. You can select polygon from here also or else you can hit shortcut command QL and you can select polygon from here and now if you select polygon it will ask polygon enter number of sides. So by default it is 4 I am going to suppose I am entering 5 I want to make pentagon I am going to select 5 and now it is asking is by center of the Polygon. Suppose uh, you can uh, center is here in a report. You can go to select center, and now it is asking option uh, inscribed circle or circumscribed circle. Enter an option. So uh, I will explain what is inscribed circle and circumscribed circle. And inscribed circle is within under circle and circumscribed is outside the circle. So I am going to select inscribed circle. And now we can draw inscribed circle pentagon and then draw whatever or uh, you can specify radius of circle and suppose I am going to hit 3000 radius and so that is inscribed pentagon. Now again if you are going to hit QL and you can select polygon and now I am going to make pentagon and uh, I am going to give the value same 5 and now center of the polygon and now it is asking circumscribe or inscribe so I am going to select circumscribe circle and you have to give the value of circumscribe circle so I am going to give value same value 3000 and hit enter. So, you can see this circumscribed circle is a little bit, this pentagon is bigger in size because it is outside the circle. So, I will explain what is inscribed and circumscribed. Suppose I am drawing two circle here and making copy, uh, copy here and you can select uh, now I am going to hit a polygon and uh, now enter I am going to take now a uh, pentagon or a hexagon you can take 6 and now it is asking is by center of the polygon so suppose I am going to hit this center and now it is asking inscribe or so I am going to take inscribe and now it is asking the center space radius if you know the radius you can give the value of radius and this is the inscribed circle that is inside the circle now again I am going to give polygon and taking the same side and now it is asking center define center and now I am going to select circumscribed and now it is outside the circle the radius of the circle so this is circumscribed this is inscribed circle so you can draw polygon by with the help of polygon command and you can draw n number of polygon 
whatever the side suppose you want to get 12 side you can draw 12 side depending on your inscribed or circumscribed circle so this is the polygon command how you can use efficiently now i will discuss about ellipse command so for drawing ellipse the shortcut command is uh, you have to enter l and then you can uh, use shortcut command for ellipse or else you can go to this main toolbar and you, from here you can select this ellipse so in the drawn down arrow there are center axis end and elliptical arc so we will discuss about this first center ellipse so i am going to select this center now it's asking specify center of ellipse so if you know the center of uh, ellipse then first select the center suppose this is the line i am going to uh, select the center and now it is telling specify end point of axis so suppose this is the end point i am going to select the end point and you can also put the value without drawing the lines and now it's asking specify distance to other axis so other axis is this so if you know the distance you can give this distance or else you can select this line so by this method you can draw and ellipse and the next one is ellipse axis end so in this you have to take three points so uh, now it's asking specify axis end point of the ellipse so i am going to select this and now trying other end point of axis so this is the end point and now it's asking distance of the other axis so i am going to select this other line and you can draw this ellipse and the and you can draw free end also and going to take this center ellipse now i am going to specify center somewhere and i am going to specify end point of x axis you can give value also i am going to give 6000 enter and now it's asking distance of other axis so i am going to give this value somewhere around uh, 18000 and you can draw this place by giving the value also and the last one is elliptical arc so this is not ellipse but elliptical arc i am going to select and uh, I is asking is specify axis end point of elliptical arc so i am going to end point select this now is specify other end point of axis i am going to this other end point and now it's asking SSI distance to other axis so we can give any distance i'm going to give 18000 and now it's uh, telling is a start angle so i'm going to say a start angle um, start angle i'm going to come here and now it's telling is by end angle so i am going to by this end, end angle anywhere you can select or you can give value also so suppose i am going to give value uh, 120 so you can draw elliptical arc by using this method so this was the tutorial on how to draw a rectangle how we can use rectangle commands you can know all the commands and uh, then ellipse and then polygon so thanks for watching if you like my video please please subscribe my channel software mania and i will come with more interesting video tutorials thanks for watching bye